Uh, the site we're at today is Campers Haven. It's a 279 unit RV park. It is located in Dennis, Massachusetts. It is a seasonal place. It's open from about April, the end of April to the end of October. Uh, most of the mobile park units are stationary, even though they can be pulled out if need be. And then there's some transient sites through here. Uh, you know, there's limited use in the April and May months, and then come the summertime, this it's tough to even move around in here. This campground, I think, was purchased by a large entity a year or two ago, and as part of that purchase of sale, in the state of Massachusetts, you have to pass a Title V inspection. Some of these cesspools were in groundwater. This wasn't going to pass. Also, this is a large system above 10,000 gallons a day, so this would have canceled right out right away. So I think in purchasing the piece of property, there was... I believe an administrative consent order with DEP in order that they needed to upgrade this system. And the reason for the tight deadline is they wanted to stay as open as long as they could and then reopen as quickly as they could. But if it was not done over this past winter, 2008 into 2019, they were not gonna be allowed to open this year. And just due to the size and nature of this project, we felt it best to team up together with J.W. Dubas and Son, who is a contracted firm like ourselves, and we felt it best to team up together with someone else in order to have the manpower to get done what needed to get done here. Our biggest resource on the Cape and the reason that people come down to Cape Cod are our beaches, our ponds, you know, our all the environmental areas that we have. So right now, the biggest thing that we have going on down here is since we're a sandy material, all of the sewage effluent quickly goes through the sand and into the groundwater. So the goal now is protection. Where You had a system here before that most of the cesspools were probably in groundwater. And now we've upgraded to a wastewater treatment system here that is gonna greatly affect how nitrogen is loaded into the ground. You know, we're probably 200 feet from the ocean right now in Nantucket Sound where we sit and all these people come down here because they want to go to that beach over there. <laughs> so if we don't have that beach or there's red tide or there's a reason that they can't go on that water, we're going to lose all the people that come down here. The challenges of sewering a site like this at Campers Haven were a lot of it is in a low area and we're right next to the ocean. So there are certain areas that have groundwater within three feet of grade. So for us, dewatering, trenching, especially during the winter time when you get freeze and thaw, Really, the all-terrain sewer system seemed to work the best because a gravity sewer system, the effort that would have had to go in to shore the hole and to dewater it, it would have taken double the time probably that, than what it took with the all-terrain sewer system. If this system was switched from all-terrain to gravity, one, I don't think you could have done gravity here. You still would have, no matter what, had to have lift stations due to the water table here. And the biggest thing here was the time constraints. If you had to do gravity here, you still would have had included pumps to get lift. You wouldn't, there's no way you were going to get it gravity all the way out to where the leaching field is in the middle of um, the site. And it was just a timeline. They needed, they could not open again unless the project was finished by May. And they closed October 31st. We couldn't get in here until two weeks after that. And I don't know how you would have done it any other way besides what was done here. Through this project, we got all of our all-terrain sewer components from FR Mahoney Associates. Um, we worked directly with Henry Arborough and his team. They were great to work with, very responsive day or night, emails, phone calls. Uh, I think one day we were out here in the pouring rain, putting boards in, getting stuff lined up. Contracting during the winter time down here, you get snow, you get frost, it's difficult. So we may schedule something a week out and have a grand scheme of how things are gonna go down and that can change on a daily basis. And they were willing to work with us for when we needed supplies and when they could get down here to do the work that we needed to get done. Cause this was a tight time frame for us and it was great to have someone that was so responsive to work with. A lot of people move down here and stay here for the whole entire summer season. So I, overall, everyone has been extremely happy with the product. I know from management here, uh, the all-terrain system that has been installed here has a high tide monitoring system, so it takes a lot out of the groundskeepers and the management here about having to think about stuff. They get out ahead of alarms. They can come down and respond without just seeing a light going off on a pump and someone calling and complaining about it. There is a proactive approach to it with this type of system, so everyone has been very happy. We talk to management all the time out here. We haven't had any problems. and. This system in the 4th of July week, this place is full with a lot of people. So I, I'm happy at how well it turned out. We haven't had many callbacks at all. And the callbacks that we have had are for stuff that really had nothing to do with the all-terrain sewer system.